Hello, Blackbird fans, and welcome to the first edition of the Jack Perry Show. We're joined by head men's basketball coach Jack Perry. Coach, thanks for joining us. You're welcome. Thanks for having me. Coach, first game of the year at Barclays Center against Moorhead State. Talk about that game and how excited the guys were to play in that arena. Well, it was a great environment, obviously. I mean, the first game of the year is always going to be an exciting game, uh, but to have it at the Barclays Center was awesome. Our guys uh, were jacked up for the game, and, you know, unfortunately the outcome wasn't what we wanted it to be, but, but the environment was there. Obviously you had Kentucky, Maryland after us, so we had a good, we had a good, uh, you know, good group of uh, people supporting us and, uh, you know, the game after ours. So it was, it was a great environment, and we're looking forward to playing there in the future. First three games haven't gone your way yet, but uh, Jamal Lossware has really had a good start to the season. Talk about his development over the course of his four-year career. Well, Jamal's just a, he's a tremendous athlete, first and foremost, and then he's worked on his game. He's such a competitive kid that he's done a great job, you know, in the, in the postseason, you know, during the summer. Uh, he's worked on his outside shot. Um, his ability to get fouled has been really a unique thing that, that he's, he uses to his, you know, to his benefit. Um, you know, the, the fact that he had 19 free throws in the first game and followed that up with 11 and 10 after that, uh, you know, that's, that's, that's something that you just don't see every day. Um, now his ability to finish and go both to his left and to his right and attack, it doesn't matter what level. I mean, against Maryland he did it. You know, he did it in the, in the NCAA tournament games as well. He's, he's just a tremendous, tremendous scorer, and he's a tremendous competitor. Alaswear has been in the line 41 times thus far over three games, averaging 13.7 per game, which leads the nation. Uh, Jason Brickman has also had a really good start to the season, um, averaging 15 points a game, 8.7 assists per game, second in the nation right now. You know, the 15 points per game kind of stand out to me and I think to a lot of Blackbird fans out there. He looks a little bit more aggressive this year, you know, looking for his own shot. Well, it's funny, you know, J Jason's always been a kid that can really score. When he was in high school, he averaged over 20 points a game. Uh, and his ability to play and use ball screens has always been, has always been there. And now, you know, as a junior, he's, he's, he's not taking a step back to some of those other guys. You know, he, he's, he's, he's ready. He's ready to, you know, shoot the ball off those screens. He's 10 for 18 from three right now. Um, he makes his free throws. And, yeah, he's being aggressive going to the basket also. He really worked on his floater and getting to the rim as well. And, and you've seen that. You've seen that in the first three games heading into the game against Kentucky tough opponent top 10 opponent first top 10 opponent that the Blackbirds will face in the regular season since Purdue back in 1997-98 coach talk a little bit about the team preparing for this tough opponent well obviously you play you, you play against uh, the, the the reigning national champions and coach Calipari and you know what you're going to get you're going to get a, a, a really talented group a lot of great athletes and and you know our guys are excited about the opportunity to go in there and go to Rupp and you know, it'll be a lot of screaming fans uh, against our guys but our guys have handled that in the past um, I think you know with, with what their group is right now is again you're, you're talking about uh, some seven footers with with Noel and and uh, Willie Cauley as well um, you know the, the the kid Wiltshire is a great shooter, and you got some young uh, young athletes in the backcourt also. So it's not going to be an easy task, but again, we have experience, and with that experience, we're going in to try and win that game. Coach, thanks for joining us, and good luck against Kentucky. Appreciate it. Thanks, Dan.